Okay, so I've just finished making this uh, 5 by 5 uh, reactor ship showing in slices. So here we are, we've got layer 1. I'm going to pause that. Layer 2. Layer 3. Layer 4. And layer five. So uh, what you'll notice with this one is that it's repeatable. You don't have to go backwards and forwards. It doesn't make any difference which way round you do it. So it's actually a little bit easier to remember, um, and it does give a little bit more power. So this one produces nineteen thousand one hundred twenty-three, and I'm just going to go and get in the other ship and check. But I think that's more like eighteen something. Yeah, so by the looks of it, it's uh, 500 more uh, more efficient than the uh, than this design. So this one does 1,874. And bearing in mind that one of the one of the reactors is split into uh, slices like this, so that might affect things. I don't know, um, but certainly we've got one reactor is 18074. We'll just go back to the other one. Okay, so this one is 19123. So it's just a little over 500 better per 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So, yeah. It's just, it is more efficient and it is easier easier to learn the pattern. It's the the, the see what makes it more efficient actually is this block, this block, this block and this block on those two tiers. If you have a look, the gap there is taken up by them. That, that That's what makes this work and it's quite clever to squidge that in there. It makes all the difference. It pushes it from 8.5 or 8.3 right up to 9.9. Nine. So, yeah, whoever came up with that was genius and I've started putting them in as well. It's a bit late to convert the whole ship but it's only it is a small percentage difference. I've already managed to get a massive gain from what I had before. Um, I think I've got about half as many power reactors on the ship now, and it's already c comparable. So yeah, I'm going to continue with my refit. But uh, yeah, there's a little tutorial for you. Um, enjoy, and see you next time.